Hi, my name is Rachel Eddy, and I'm going to teach um, a little bit about pulsing and bow pulsing, how to make a good sounding pulse, and how to use it and incorporate that into fiddle tunes. So, to begin with, um, making a bow pulse has to do with varying your speed of your bow. So, slow, fast, slow again. So, it's not enough to just go slow and continue fast. You have to slow it back down. It's like putting on the brakes. It's really important. So on an up bow, on an up bow you can do a pulse and grab a second string. And it's very useful for um, an end of phrase technique. It's like a figure eight. Mm. So without that double string, it would be like. another double and that completes the figure eight. So that's useful in um, phrases like And there are some pulses that I'm doing that are not double strings and not the figure eight things. And I'm putting those on the chuck of a boom chuck. So if you think for a moment like a guitar player, mm. and say you have your boom here and your chuck here. Okay. Um, you can fill my feet for a second if you want. I'm gonna go boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chuck. happening on the chuck. wave so like yeah it just keeps the wave rolling rather than having it break yeah. and kind of crash into your um that's kind of a crashed wave you didn't get a ride that very long and it always keeps things in motion if you're pushing and pulling notes and kind of like stretching them to fit the whole space of the tune yeah. versus just thinking like oh here are four eighth notes I'm just gonna play these notes if you give each one a different value, 
Um, it allows the wave to, to build and allows it to to carry forward and roll into each other rather than like collapsing on itself. Versus. Yeah. Totally different, right? And that pulse. I'm speeding up my bow, I'm slowing it back down. 